Welcome to SRC Codes. So we have been talking about how to prepare for PSM-1 test that is provided by SRAM.org. And uh, among the many advantages of taking this test is that it's relatively cheaper. It's just 150 US dollars. And also it doesn't, it doesn't come with an expiry date. That means if you are the one who's making that investment, I strongly suggest you choose Scrum.org over uh, Scrum Alliance, where I think uh, they have an expiry date of you have to renew it every two years. So if you, <laughs> this is like value for money. So if it's your box in the line, uh, I strongly suggest you go with Scrum.org. So first week I left you with a few tips that you could do and I'm sure you have lots of questions and you have developed some sort of understanding. So this is, uh, right now we are gonna talk about the week just preceding the test. Uh, at this point of time, I would suggest that you pick a date and if you're like me, uh, you would just know when you're prepared. Like I booked my test the day I was supposed, I decided I'm gonna take it. But if you are in the habit of procrastination, like you, the nearer you are pushed to the date and you feel, no, I really don't, uh, I am not sure, then, then also I'll say book the test because the good part of this exam is that you don't set a time for it. You pay for the exam, that will act as a ticker in your head that, okay, I've made the payment, I need to take the test. Uh, at this, this week, I'll strongly suggest you do that. And the moment you feel you are ready to take it, you just take the assessment. No worries. So you have been going through Scrum, right? Now, what can we do additionally in week two or just a week before the test? Let's talk about it. Okay, so uh, right now, I am assuming you have read the Scrum Guide more than three times at least. I had to because I was finding it difficult, maybe because I do not have the background in agile, working in an agile environment, so everything was new for me. And I also don't have an IT background, so uh, this was all new for me and I had to go through the Scrum Guide at least more than three times. By now, you, your Scrum Guide should be underlined and with lots of notes and, uh, and cues for yourself. Now, well, let's talk about the open assessments. Where are you? I believe you have taken them a couple of times or even more. Um, this is the week where you, I strongly suggest you take them at least twice in a day. They take very less time. And also this is the week we focus on time management because now you know the concepts, you know how the structure of the question is. You just need to build your confidence in terms of doing it faster. The Scrum Open Assessments, I think give you 30 minutes for 30 questions. Now, if you do the math, you realize that that is way too much more time than you'll actually have when you're taking the test. Adding to that the stress levels and the adrenaline rush of taking a test. So I would suggest that aim for 15 to 20 minutes to complete your Scrum Open Assessments. So there are 30 questions which you have seen probably. If you take it five or six times, I don't think you will have new questions. Uh, means most of them will be known to you. So you should really build up on answering them within 15 to 20 minutes. I know it sounds absurd, but if you set that goal, you believe me, you will thank me when you take the test. So please, please, please uh, take it as often as you need to. Uh, I am suggesting twice, but honestly, I would take them four or five times because they didn't take much time. And the more I took the assessments, the faster I got. So at the end of the day, I could finish it within anything between 10 minutes to 15 minutes. And also, all my strategies are not aiming to get you a 98 percentile or 100 percentile. We are really looking for that 85 percent cutoff with some confidence. So please take the assessments more often now and uh, build your confidence on those few questions that keep reappearing so that when you have them in your test, you are prepared to answer them in milliseconds. There are uh, a few uh, free uh, assessments. Mlapson is one, which I'll put a link below, which I used extensively while preparing for my test. And I would take it at least once. Again, there you have learning mode and real mode. In learning mode, in every question you answer, they give you an explanation on why is it correct and why it's not. So it's a very good uh, reproduction of the PSM1 test. The only 
only thing to note here is that it is still based on the 2017 scrum guide and uh, if you do decide to take it which i strongly suggest you do uh, kindly remember that find a few of the answers uh, would be a bit off strongly suggest you believe that you visit the link which talks about uh, the changes that have come across and there are lots of blogs on this scrum.org itself dis uh, discussing in detail the changes and I'll make sure to put a link there. Now, you have booked the test, like you have paid the money and uh, you have paid the amount and you have got your code, um, you will receive the code and uh, the point is when do you take the test, when do you know you're ready. My suggestion will be to take the test when you are consistently scoring nine above 95 percent in the open assessments i would have said the m labs in as well uh, but uh, again given to consideration the few things are changed i think 90 percent there should be good enough for you to feel confident to take your test so the moment you are consistently like you're taking the tests increase the number of tests you take like how 10 minutes of a day so it's not much but increase the frequency of the test and when you see that you are for over one or two days and three days to be safe uh, over two three days if you see that you're consistently scoring over 95 percent then i think you're ready to take the test so that's about it in the second week will you do is have a very well leaf through underlined with notes and a much used scrum guide you should be clocking you should be clearing those scrum open assessments within anything between 15 to 20 minutes please do that because that along with the correctness of your answers is going to add to your success on the d-day and mlapsen is a good it's free there are lots of other accounts which i did not spend money or time in registering and clearing but i will put a link to the mlaps in one and again it's flagged with the fact that it's not updated they are doing it right now and the fourth thing is that uh, you are looking for 95 percent and above in your open assessments and then you'll know you're ready thanks for watching